I'm back building another pond. Say hello to my little friend. Roll on the spring. Got me slippers on. This is the pleasure of having such a nice filter race. To fit myself, I am going to take this white lid off. Tube plaque up here as well. Done a water test, and the water that I'm pumping into the pond, it leaks or get any problems. The floor slopes backwards that way, and you can't have any. It's just too cold, mate. You're not allowed it. That said, look, subscribe to the channel. <laughs> Anyone know what that tune is? If you do, thank your mother for the rabbits. Hi, <laughs> kick love. I'm back building another pond. Say hello to my little friend. Right, so long story short, real quickly, I'm just making a few upgrades in the filter house. I'm still home with COVID. I feel all right, but I'm not allowed to go to work. Day 10, I'm due back tomorrow anyway. It makes no difference if I got positive test or not. I'm due back tomorrow. But I'm still positive, but I've got to go back to work. That's how it is. Never mind. That being said, look, what I'm doing in here today, I'm just doing a few upgrades to be fair with you. Get in, get in here, boy, and have a look. Right then, so we're just going to give you a little bit of an update of what I've done in my filter house. To start with, I've got my mat on the floor and I've got my slippers on. This is the pleasure of having such a nice filter house. <laughs> Not that I have to do much in here, but what I've been up to in here, I'll shut the door a second just so you can see. So I've decided to put my three stage dechlorinator in here and my big blue in here for the pure reason, obviously being outside in the cold and open to the elements and being an absolute eyesore outside, I wanted to get it inside my filter house. I've also fit myself a water meter just so I can register how much water that I'm using each day, each week. And obviously on a trickle, I'll just get right in there and it's, it'll just show me how much water I'm using. And it is very, very slow, the amounts that I'm using, but I can monitor it. There's a few people that said that I wouldn't be able to fit that meter because it would, wouldn't register the water because the water trickling in was too slow, but it works a treat. So as you can see up there, I've got my three stage dechlorinator fitted. I am going to take this white lid off, give it a bit of a spray paint and put it back up there because... Being outside, it's got that rust on the top of it. Not that it's a problem, but I'll just sand it down, spray paint it up black, and make it look the absolute hammer. Also fitting myself up another shelf up here, looking the absolute hammer. Main reason why I've put that up there, just because I wanted to get all my Hannah test kit, everything expensive at the back, nice and tidy. Instead of being down here on the shelf, I wanted to get it up there. I had some spare wood. I've been off work this week, so, a little two minute job of me just cutting that wood with the handsaw, chucking it up there, happy days. I have fit my YouTube plaque up here as well. This is one my mate made me back when I hit 5,000 subs. He hand made me this, that's my old logo there, but I put that in the shed as well. Obviously I've got my koi art up there as well. Happy days, but the main reason why I've fitted this here to be fair, a lot of you know, I was getting chlorine coming through the big blue and uh, I back flushed it recently. Give it a bit of a spin round, give it a bit of a mix up, and it and it seems to be pumping no chlorine through. I have done a water test, and the water that I'm pumping into the pond is doubled in chlorine compared to when I first started building this pond. So I thought, right, I got a free stage to chlorinator. I got a load of these spare, um, what are they called like carbon blocks, I suppose, and pre filters. I got a load of them spare anyway from when I had the old pond. So I thought I'm just as well run it through a free stage to start with. So it's getting filtered, the water that I'm putting into the pond is getting filtered with a free stage to start with. Then it runs through the water meter. Then it runs down the back, up behind here, all nice and neat. And then through another filter, it's just a, another pre-filter more than anything. And then down through the carbon, back up through the carbon, and then out returning to the side of the pond. I was going to dip it straight into here, but I thought, right, I'll be wasting fresh water straight down the overflow and there's no point. So what I've done, I just tapped it there on the side. And then it runs right around the side of the pond and trickles in around the side, which I can keep an eye on that from my pond camera to let me know that I'm still trickling in water at a steady flow. But it'd be interesting to work out how much water I'm trickling in over a 24 hour period through that meter instead of just doing a minute through a cup and working that out. But yeah, happy days. Everything's singing and dancing in here. Top, top notch, as they say. I was going to put the big blue down here, but the gas boiler that I'm potentially having fitted is hopefully going to go up there somewhere. Sorry about the light, it's a bit blurry when I get up there, but yeah, hopefully up there. 
And the main reason why I didn't put the, ball, um, the big blue down there, because of the pure weight of it, when you've got to change it and change the carbon, or if I do have to back flush it for any reason at all, I didn't want to be lifting it all the way up in there and all the way down there. Not that it's a massive problem, but it's just a pain in the ass. If I can just do it here, 10 times easier. The other reason why I wanted it here, because if I get any leaks or get any problems, the floor slopes backwards that way. And if this thing leaks, I've got a gully drain all the way across the bottom there. Everything goes into that drain. If I get any leaks, it goes in there and it's not getting the rest of the floor wet. So I thought it's a perfect little helm. It's tidy, it fits there. I can get to everything. And it looks the absolute hammer to be fair with you. Well made up with it. Extra few things that I've done this week where I've been off with the old COVID is that I'm just trying to keep myself busy more than anything. Not that I can do a lot, but I'm stuck home. So I've just been playing around doing little jobs. So the overflow, which is here, used to just drip straight down there and straight into here. Well, I extended the pipe of that because I had loads of spare pipe. I cut a little hole out of my gully drain and now it goes directly straight into the gully drain. I've also done exactly the same with my waste, what comes out of my drum filter. that comes out of the drum filter, comes down and then it goes straight into there as well. So uh, I put a rubber boot on that just because I needed to bend it into the hole to get it in there instead of having the fixed pipe. It works an absolute treat now it's in there. And it just tidies it up. So if you look from down here, it's uh, all singing and dancing and proper, proper happy days. So yeah, more than happy with that. I had a few of these stickers left over, so I thought, right, I just will chuck them on there, make it look the absolute hammer. Happy, happy days. Video quality is not brilliant in this filter shed because obviously the light is a little bit tricky to film and I've got you on wide zoom lens and I'm only filming on the phone, which if I zoom back to this lens, it's a little bit close. And if I go to this lens, it's even too close. But get on the Burtons, that's a hell of a filter. Get on it. So yeah, moving out here in the garden this morning, just wanted to show you the old camera that I've got on the pond. So the camera, the hive camera is up there. That's, that's video in this pond 24 seven, seven days a week, 365 days a year, or however many days there are in a year. That said, I wanted to show you where my overflow is because I can zoom in on my phone, not overflow. I want to show you my trickle in. So I've got it set out there. I can see exactly what's happening. I can see it trickling in and uh, from my camera, I can see that I'm still tripping in water at a steady speed if I'm at work. That was the idea of me putting it out there just to see if it makes any difference or not. It's a different story, but one thing's for sure. It is absolutely boatic here this morning. I do think the next thing I'm going to do though, guys, is in the filter house itself, I'm really, look, they really want some food, but you can't have any. Your water's too cold and you can't have any. It's just too cold, mate. You're not allowed it. But yeah, <coughs> what I was going to say, so inside the filter house, obviously these hive cameras work off of, um, I've got a few other ones scattered in the garden, in case anyone ever comes around and tries pinching anything. But that being said, look, they work off of Wi-Fi. So uh, I don't know whether, if I can get another one in here, because my mate Lee, off of the Koi Soldier, another YouTube channel, he's fitted himself a camera inside a filter house, which I think is a banging idea, because... If you get any leaks if you're on holiday or at work or wherever, I'm just debating whether if it'll fit in there or not. If it does fit in there, I'll get one. I'll get another one. Chuck it in there or, or get another camera, which I can put in there, which works off of Wi-Fi. Or I don't know really know much about the CCT side of things. So I've only ever used the Sky ones or the Hive ones, should I say, because we got it when we got our Hive heating in the house. So that's why I got that one. But yeah, all the fish are doing really well. It's just a bit of an update. I'm a bit bored with myself. Video quality is not brilliant because the light's rubbish out here in the garden today. I've got, look at all this. This all needs sorting right out too. But yeah, roll on the spring, as they say. Roll on the spring. That said, look, I'm just going to stand here for the next 10 minutes. Oh, I've got me clear lid on here as well. Yeah, what was I going to say? Stand here for the next 10 minutes and watch this. Because I think this is the most peaceful thing in the world to watch. You can go into an absolute zone looking at that stuff. Anyone know what that tune is? If you do, happy days. I said, look, subscribe to the channel. It's a real quick video. It's only a bit of an update. I'm bored. I'm home. Hope you enjoyed the video. Only a quick update. And I'll see you all on the next one. Thank you, mother for the rabbits.